Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is Seed of Word in Ministry, and I am a meta. Learning in Discipline is my title today. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Congratulations to the first caller on who received the $25 gift card for giving the correct answer to Tuesday's trivia question. It was number five of Pastor Scott's points to have a happy new year. Don't do it half-heartedly. Just give it all. Jesus gave it all. You give it all. Amen was the answer to that question. We'll talk more about the, uh, the gifts, cards, and other things that I have planned for those who give the correct answer at the end of the episode, of this episode. Father God, in the precious name of Jesus, Lord God, we give you praise and glory and honor. We thank you, Lord God, that you hear us, you see us, you understand us, and that you're everywhere. We thank you, God, that you love us and that you discipline us. And we are disciplined, Lord God, as I can see, for me as well as others. And through the Bible, disciplinary actions come in all kind of ways. And it is the way we receive it that makes us grow or stay the same. God, we ask that you open the eyes of our understanding that we would understand your word. As Solomon said, Lord God, give me power, empower me to be able to go out and in and out among your people. In Jesus' precious name, amen, amen. Learning in discipline. This year, God is going to do a new thing. Okay, God is doing a new thing in 2023. How many out there like to be disciplined? I'm getting better at it. <laughs> I'm beginning to like it. There I go again, being analytical. I've been told I'm too analytical. I heard this lady on, on the radio 95.1 who said that she too is very analytical. Well, I learned in 2022, I analyze and have an answer before the person can complete the question. Just ask my husband or my kids. Last year, I received a lot of discipline, but I have learned from the process and am still learning from different types of disciplines. You don't mind if I share how I have been disciplined. I love my sister and my sister-in-law. They often discipline me because they love me. You know, the ones closest to you can really see you better than you can see yourself, even if you're looking in the mirror. My sister had shared with me, I'm being 
to analytical and taught me the difference between sharing and complaining. In my uh, analytical mind, I see uh, some sharing as being complaining. And I have to learn the difference because it is different how you respond to it. You start talking to me and you are just sharing. And my mind starts trying to decipher an answer to give you, to help you in the situation. I want to help. If I would be disciplined in my listening, I would have probably picked up the person is just sharing. She taught me something and I brought it with me for 2023. Amen. My sister-in-law disciplines me. She's gentle. She used the word of God about giving power that belongs to God to other people. She told me it robs God of his place. I learned not to make hasty decisions. I found I have done that a, a few times, put other people in God's place. You know what? But learning that through her, I also brought it for 2023. With those behaviors removed from my itinerary, my scale even tells me, disciplines me. It says to me, you can't eat sweets all week long and then on Monday, the weigh-in day, find what you're looking for on the scale. I was disciplined everywhere. And you know what? It's not going to stop. God disciplines his disciples. And so I guess I am a sure disciple. I am loving Isaiah 42nd chapter. God is doing some discipline. Amen. In Isaiah 42, beginning at the 8th verse, it says, I am the Lord. That is my name. And my glory will I not give to another, neither my praise to graven images. Does that sound like a rebuke? A little bit, huh? Okay, God makes it clear who he is and what he will not take. The Israelites were always falling out of line with God. They were always coming short of his glory, just like we do. They would leave him serving others and he finally said to them, you serve me with your mouth and not your heart. And he would go and get them and bring them back to him. Amen. Did you know he was married to the backslider? Jeremiah three fourteen. Turn, O backslidden children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you. I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. And I will give your pastors according. I will give you pastors. I will give you pastors, amen, according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. They were quick to praise graven images. We do the same thing when we allow things to be his place, his spot. God is a jealous God, and he wants all of you, not just Sunday, but Sunday to Sunday. After he has made this clear, who is talking? He says, behold, hallelujah. Verse 9, behold, the former things are come to pass, and new things do I declare. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. Let me repeat that again. I like this. Behold, the former things are come to pass. They are gone, and new things do God uh, declare. And he said, before they spring forth, I will tell you of them. I am embarking on a new way to bring forth the word of God to his people. And I am so excited. I love the word behold. It makes me feel like I need to go. Attention, <laughs> attention, amen. God is about to say something and I am excited about it. 
I want to know what's going on. Why is he talking to the Israelites that way? And in studying that scripture, I learned, amen, in discipline by reading the word of God, that the Israelites were very, very up and down people. God is speaking to them because of their behavior. Now I'm being analytical. What was going on that God had to say, behold, a word that is very strong. Look here and listen and pay attention. God loves them so much and he wants us to know that he loves us the same way. He says to us, behold, I am God. That's my name. <laughs> In the beginning of the 42nd chapter, it starts off by saying, Behold. The first nine verses is talking about the coming of the Messiah and the use of the same words is found in Isaiah 53. I just pick one of the words or phrases, a bruised reed. Learning and discipline is not bad when you concentrate on what you're going to learn from it. You have to go through discipline for a while and be around people who can explain discipline isn't bad. For God chastises those who he loves. And in the midst of discipline, there is learning. God, after getting their attention, wanted to share with them. He was about to go through with a plan. And that plan was to bring his son, Jesus, the Christ. And that he would bring justice to his people. My brothers and sisters, God wants you to know he is doing a new thing in 2023. The thing he is doing will be different for each of us. And he is showing it is us. And he's showing it, it is before it, it happens. Let the past go. It will hinder what he is going to bring into existence. It takes discipline to be prepared for the future. Paul wrote, lay aside every weight and sin that so easily besets you so you can run with patience the race that is set before you. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy set before him he endured the cross, scorning, and sat down on the right hand of the throne of God. Think of all the hostility he endured from sinful people so we would not become weary and lose heart. He always had us on his mind. Can we take the time to have him on our minds? My goal list is full of him and things I am going to let go of so I can be on the pathway of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I encourage you to do the same. I want that when he moves, I'm right there. When he turns around, I'm there. Don't even verbalize this year's, last year's pains. Amen. For every time you do, they become alive again. Those things are like the chicken that I used to see my grandfather kill and his head is in his hand and his body is jumping all over the yard. Those things need their heads chopped off. <laughs> or like the catfish that my fr father fried that kept ho hopping around in the frying pan. <laughs> in Ephesians it says, and you have been quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Wherefore, in times past, walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience, among whom also we all had our conversation in time past, in the lust of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. And God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love 
wherewith he loved us, even when we were dead in sin, he quickened us together with Christ. By grace are you saved by faith. And have raised us up together and made us to sit in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. We are new creations and all former things have become gone. And behold, God has something new in 2023. I'm hearing some new things that are coming that will have a great effect and effect on the hearers. Amen. Glory be to God for the great things he done in 2022. And hallelujah for the things he will do in our lives in 2023. All oh, there is some learning in being disciplined. Amen. And in this year, 2023, we're going to find ourselves being more disciplined. Amen. Doing the things that God would love us to do to be close to him. Amen. I want to talk about the trivia again. I'm so thankful for the young lady who won it. Amen. Who answered the right question. So I want to change the rules around just a little bit. It still has to be nobody in my household. Amen. It doesn't really have to be a subscriber. You could just be wandering through YouTube and happen to click on my episode. You must answer the question correctly. And I will be giving or sending to you uh, the $25 gift card. Or if you choose, a basket of food would be delivered to you from Walmart. Amen. So when you call, leave your name and your telephone number and the answer to the question. Amen. It's easy. And it helps you to helps you me to stay disciplined and you to receive the word of God. And so the question today, amen, for this Thursday is what did I say or who wrote we have been quickened? We have been quickened. Who said that? Let that be uh, the answer when you call. And I'm taking the first person who calls with the correct answer. Amen. Instead of the fifth person. It will be the first person who calls with the correct answer. Amen. God loves you. And so do I. Stay distancing. Wear gloves when necessary. Wear the mask if you choose to. Ask God about the vaccine and work out your own soul salvation with trembling and fear before the Lord. God loves you and so do I. Have a blessed, blessed weekend, spiritual weekend. Go to church. Amen. Do a Zoom church meeting if you still are not wanting to go out. But get in the word and listen to what God has to say to you for the new year. Discipline is not bad. It just depends on how you look at it. I'm planning to learn in every discipline because God's doing a new thing. And I don't want to miss it. God has things 
in store for you in 2023. Keep your focus on him. Man, I need.